Happy Halloween, y'all. We're here at the Bloomfield Cemetery. I thought I'd come over here. Haven't been over here in a few months. So all our friends over here. Um, this cemetery is close by I, Mount Pleasant. We'll go back. We'll go back maybe next week. But it's it's a haul for me to get there. So I was just being lazy. So I figured I'd come up and see my neighbors. So should we take a stroll through the neighborhood? Maria Church, wife of what is that? I can't read the first name. The last name is Sweet. 1792 to 1880 something and our brother Edward Church died October 17th 1832 age 25 years can't read it but looks like your husband had a cool name 1792 1881 hello I'm just coming here to say hello too much time in this middle section here so maybe we'll spend a little time over here got the Abel family John Emma John I don't know if Milton and Sadie are here Frank and his wife Christina you're at rest now? Yes, you are. Lawrence first. In memory of David Baldwin, died July 3rd, 1803, in the 88th year of his age. In memory of Eunice, relic of David Baldwin, who died 1820, who died October 20th, 1800, I can't say it was 1803 or 1805 in her 87th year of her age. She was long a mother. Can't read what that is. She was long a mother in, in Eurail. Now these two headstones were erected by Allison Dodd, 1930. Great great grandson. A duplicate of the original. Oh, that was nice. Alexander Jackson Davis, 1803 to 1892, noted American architect. Architect. Ah, very interesting.
18. and Dodd, erected more. Eunice, wife of Joseph Dodd. Eighteen fourteen and Joseph Dodd. 1816. But again, it was a relative. These are these headstones are duplicates. Or replicas. Agenda. Just kind of walking around. We the uh, we'll make our way over and we'll definitely talk to the Gardner family. Looks like we got the Perry family over here. Anna. Kate, Mary, Josephine, and John, uh, John and Catherine. So we got the Perrys over here. Isaac Collins, father, Jane Wyckoff, wife of Isaac Collins. Nestus, Mary, and Adana Albies. Edward E. Newman, Katura O, and Kara E. Newman. It just says 1869. I don't know. Spence, June 21st, 18, looks like 50, can't tell if it's 51 or 61. My mother. Oh, that's nice. Again, a lot of dogs here. And these are duplicate. Zophar P. Dodd. Here. Zophar P. Dodd. It's a name you don't hear anymore. October 28, 1794. 60 years, the ruling elder of the First Presbyterian Church of Bloomfield. And then his wife. She was born in Scotland.
Thomas Osborne. Abby Osborne. There's an Osborne place. There's a street called Osborne. Wife of J.S. Murray, 1862 to 1891. Fred R. Cooper and Jesse M. Colfax, Colfax family. this out before but this is um, was used to store coffins until they could be buried so and here we are at the gardener residence Hello to the Gardner family. I don't know if you remember me. I was here, ooh, probably a couple months ago now. Um, but I came here to spend Halloween with you. So happy Halloween. Um, my name is Liz, in case you've for forgotten. Um, I come here in peace and love as always. And I'm just here to really just say hello and say happy Halloween. I don't know if you, when you were still living, if you celebrated Halloween. any messages that you wish to I should I should saying um, you know I mean I'm, I'm not here to hurt you I'm not here to make you go away I'm just to really just get yeah, just to say hello people were were very interested in your words of wisdom the last time I was here so I just came by to see if you had any uh, more, any more uh, pearls of wisdom for the living. If you have, you can say anything. Me message for other, other people. I'm I'm always saying. Message for me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. saying you got a lovely spot here it's in the shade it's quiet over here trees are starting to lose their leaves now but still a nice spot so I very much like your home Do you have any messages about life after death? I mean, obviously if you're here, life goes on. Or do you have a message about, about being still here? Anything, you can, say, you can say anything at all. No, a lot of times somebody was in distress. I kept getting help and all that. So I hope whoever that pers person is got the help they needed. Peace. 
Get a name, please. Can you tell me your name? Yes. Where Can you answer me the question? Ed. Ed. Is the veil thinner on Halloween? Is it easier for the for the deceased to to speak to the living? Clark Van Doren, wife of Charles, 1859 to 1939, a perfect woman, nobly planned. Uh, Charles L. Van Doren, See, this headstone was repaired. I don't know. I'm not saying it's vandalism. I just uh, took a quick Google search. I didn't find any news articles. So... I don't want to automatically accuse or say that could just be nature. Let's go see your old friend over here. I forgot to bring a beer again. Do you wish do you wish to step forward and say hello? You don't have to. (laughs) 
I just stopping by because you've talked with us before. But if you don't want to talk, if you don't want to talk to us now. That's okay. Right. Voters. Voters, that's right. Get out and vote. I voted. <laughs> All right, Ralph, we won't bother you. I just want to say happy Halloween and we'll come and talk to you again another time. Okay? <laughs> Bye, Ralph. Get out of I'm trying to, today to go in different areas of, the, of this park. Uh, Elias died Recrea 1871, age 39, seven months. Oh, we got Susanna, wife of, okay, it's Susanna Amelia Knapp, wife of Eli. Their children, Hannah M., died April 18th, 1882, died one year, six months, and five days. Poor little thing. And Jessica died. July 4th, 1865, age six months and some odd days. Aww. That's just tragic. Hi, Susanna. I just came here to say hello. My name is Liz. Come here in peace and love. I'm not here to hurt you or make you go away or anything like that I'm really just here to say hello and happy halloween i am so sorry that your children died so young i mean that i couldn't imagine the heartbreak i'm so so sorry about that Susanna, do you wish to step forward and just say hi? Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Not making you. Just we're just here to say hello say you know happy Halloween and I'm so sorry about your children really terrible do you have a, a message for the living
Have you and your children reunited in spirit? As a mother, do you have a message for other mothers? Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. What's twenty-nine? Your your headstone says you were thirty-nine. Susanna, do you have any message for? Do you have any message as a mother to other mothers? All right, I'm not, I'm not gonna make you talk. Goodbye, Susanna. Again, I'm very, very sorry for what, what happened. Goodbye. <laughs> Included. Included. All right. To learn all. To learn all. Yes. I'm here. To, <laughs> I'm here to talk to anybody. John Morris. Louise Rasha. Hello, Louise. Ah, here he is. Ah. 
very nice. Here's one. Compton, Jane Robertson, 1893-1969. Stewart, passed in 1981. And John Joseph, 1928. Not dead but just away. Oh, the Compton family. I like your headstone. Not dead, but just away. I agree. So I like your headstone a lot. Anybody from the Compton family wish to step forward? Yeah. <laughs> Are you away? Are you still here? Today is Halloween. Would you like? Do you have any messages for the living on Halloween? I see. Oh. oh, that's a good message. A lot of people want to know, is the veil thinner? Is it easier? Yeah, 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 yeah. Is it easier for you <laughs> for you to talk to the living on Halloween? Yes, 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 yes. No, 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 no. Did you used to enjoy Halloween? Was my today's my favorite day. <laughs> Do you have any messages for the living? <laughs> Maybe for your uh, family. It's a nice spot here. I like I like your new I like your home. I like your residence. See ya. All right. Well, they're gonna kick me out soon, so I'm gonna have to leave. <laughs> So I'm going to say goodbye to the Compton family. I don't know. May I come back and visit you again? <laughs> Silence. All right. Goodbye. Got the West family over here. Robertson family.
Stainsby. John Russell Evans, Massachusetts, 84th Vietnam, 1952 to 1972. He must have died in Vietnam. Thank you for your service. All right, I got, I'm, I'm going to get kicked out in about two seconds here. So, um, they weren't too chatty today, but that's okay. Um, we'll come back another day. So, like, subscribe, share. Thank you to all my new subscribers, uh, obviously for entertainment purposes only. And that's it. Happy Halloween. I'll see you in the next bit. Bye.